it's the war hipster here coming at you with another contrast plus painting tutorial and today we are once again taking a trip to the age of darkness and we are painting iron hands another of the loyalist legions and well we're going to be using the new contrast and shade paints from games workshop which they very kindly sent to me early to test out and to review for all of you and to show you what they can do and Without further ado, we're going to jump in and start painting him. Now, he's been primed in grace here, as with all of our Mark VI Space Marines. And the first colour we're going to be using is Lead Belcher. And we're going to be using this all over the top of all of the black armour. Now, we're going to be excluding the shoulder pads, because they, whilst they are black, they are a smoother black. But these we want to be like a really heavy industrial gun metal, or black metal, as it were. And that's where we're going to get this Lead Belcher all over first. And then we're going to cover them in black and it's going to look awesome. So you just want to get this lead belcher all over. You might take a couple of thin coats just to make sure you get a really good coverage. Otherwise, you just want to go for it. So with that lead belt all applied, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some of the new Black Legion. I'm going to paint this over the top of the Black Legion. Of the, ugh, we're going to paint Black Legion over the top of the lead belcher to give us this really nice dark kind of dirty metallic silver. With that done, you should have this really lovely kind of heavy, dark black silver, which looks awesome. So what we're going to do now is we're going to work on those shoulder pads as well as the rest of the black details. The colour we're going to be using for that first is Ultramarine's Blue. This is because we're going for a slightly cleaner look here to create some distinction between our two blacks. So I'm just going to coat this over the top of areas such as the soft joints in his armor, the cables, the leather, the shoulders, and the bolt gun casing. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some black Templar. I'm going to apply this over the top of our Ultramarines Blue. Just like this. So with that done, well, you've got two very distinct different looking blacks. Now when we do our highlights, it'll really show up. But for now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna move on to painting the rest of the base colors. And the color we're gonna be using once again is Lead Belcher. And this is gonna be for all of our remaining silver details. And you could have done this at the start if you wanted to. Uh, I didn't want 
be in confusion. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Targor Raid Shade, the new shade from Games Workshop. I'm going to use this to shade all of the silver. And so with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Asaman Blue. I'm going to apply this over the top of the eye lenses. Now it doesn't matter that we're doing it over the black, we just want to give it a kind of bluish sheen like that. You see? It's quite difficult to see on the camera, but trust me, it's doing something. Just like that. With that done, our iron hand is at pretty much a war hipster battle ready. However, we're not going to leave it there. We are going to take him to the next level and we're going to start that by doing some highlights. And the first one we're going to add is some thinned down iron warriors. I'm going to use this to highlight all of our silver details. Our silver details are black details. And by black details, I mean our black armor. We got there in the end just like this. So we're going to be picking it all out. Just like this. So with that Iron Warriors applied, we're then going to take some Iron Hand Steel. I'm going to use this to highlight the silver details now. But we're also going to use the Iron Hand Steel to add some little spot highlights to the sharpest area. So for example, the tops of the knees. And any corners you want to catch the light just a little bit. Like so. so with that now done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna move on to the remaining black details, which we did with the Ultramarines Blue and the Black Templar. The color we're gonna be using is we're gonna be using some rust gray to add some highlights to all of these areas. And so with that done as a final flourish to those armor pieces and those black details, we're going to take some Fenrisian Grey and we're just going to add this to the sharpest points. So for example, just there on that shoulder. At the top of the bolt gun sight. On that corner. Just like this. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take the new reformulated Drakenhof Nightshade and we're going to apply this over the top of our shoulder pads just to really darken them down just a little bit. And 
could also just really punch up that blue sheen. Because these act like the new contrast paints, it means that our highlight underneath will be relatively intact. So it just looks awesome, like that, as you can tell. <laughs> And similarly, we're going to take some Targor Raid Shade. We're going to apply this over the top of our metallic black armor. Just like that. With that now done, all that's left to do is his eye lenses. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some thinned down Calador Sky. And I'm going to apply this as a little line across the middle of each of the lenses. With that Calador Sky applied, we then want to take a tiny amount of Lother and Blue. I'm going to add this as a little highlight going around the underside of each of the lenses, so. Just like that. So with that done, what we now want to do is we want to take a tiny, tiny dot of Corax White, and we want to add this in the far corner of each of our eye lenses. Like that. And so our Iron Hands Space Marine is now finished. And he looks absolutely cracking. I'm really, really, really pleased with how this has come out. Two different types of black on one miniature. It's always difficult to do, but Black Legion, wow. It is quite the versatile paint now, isn't it? <laughs> As is our traditional blue plus black recipe just putting them alongside each other really shows you the difference and it's really really cool really really fun to do and well I do have a soft spot for the iron hands if it's only just pity I suppose if you enjoyed this video you love the channel and you want to support me further like these legends and bosses on the screen before you you can do so head to patreon.com forward slash war hipster or head to ko-fi.com forward slash war hipster Alternatively, you can now become a YouTube channel member by heading to the channel page and clicking on the join button just here, exactly like these awesome folks have done. And if you just want to shoot me a little thanks just because you really love this video, you can click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And to make sure you stay up to date, don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.